Welcome back to Dice and Anarchy. Today we have another Commander 4-Way. Tonight I am playing Osier Axenel, the deepest might. I am playing Drevi, Imperial Tactician. I am playing the Mimeoplasm. And I have Ravaz of the Claw. Uh, coming here is a 4-Way Classic play. Yeah, because I normally do it. That can be your top card. We're cutting across. Um, <coughs> go that tower. I'm just gonna take a little chunk off the top. Maybe you know, I don't. Loose leaves. Take that. Well, the ones I'm putting the bottom on top. You got a little bit of everything. Friendly mole. House rules. It's good for me. Wow. <laughs> I got all my Chandra's no mana. Wow. I'm on a friendly mole three. Going for friendly seven. I'm dropping two. One, two, three. Next time you mole, it's minus one. Yeah. Two. Oh, what wow, a Wow, are you kidding me? Yeah. What a pleasure. I'm gonna have to do another seven, go down to six. I'm gonna drop another one and go to six as well. We're gonna take the scry. Yeah, I'm gonna drop two to that. Drop the scry. Get the scry. We get the scry. Six. You just go at the bottom? Yep. Oh God. Fifteen. Thirteen. Eight plus six. Eight plus five. Thirteen. Thirteen. You can't count. I don't know how we're doing this. Are we doing percentile? Eight, seven, fifteen. What'd you get, Fifteen. Ah. You got fifteen? Yeah. Okay, so me and Joe are tied at fifteen. I am. Oh, yeah. Yeah, me and Joe are tied at fifteen. Beat that, Sean. Sixteen. Oh, okay. One, two, six. All right, me and Joe have to re-roll. Re-roll. Seven. <laughs> seven. Seven. <laughs> I'm rolling first this time. Let's see. Nice, 16. Falling four. 16. Beat 16. 13. Ah, nice. It's dice and yeah. anarchy. Dude, we got the same number two times, yeah. Yep. I guess a draw. 15, 15, 7, 7. I'm gonna play a mountain. Oh, tap the mountain for a soul ring. <laughs> tap the soul ring for a Racto signet. Draw. Mana for soul ring, soul ring for signet. Yeah. Is it two? Yeah. Yeah, then you're good. Your turn. Alright. Draw. Until you drop it, huh? Only pretend it's going to be a forest pass. What? It oh, we're playing? Yeah. Turn one. Oh. I'm going to play Hedge Maze. And just taps. And I surveil. I. I can put that back on top, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. If Everything. you like it, it remains on top. If you don't, it goes to the graveyard. Pass. Oh, what's going on over here? Man. Soul ring in the signet. I'm too busy passing notes over here, laughing at jokes. I gotta pay attention to the uh, game. Another mountain. Mountain in the signet. Into one from soul ring, one floating for Ravaz. He's doing stuff. I got nothing. Ravaz pass. Come on. Wow, are you f fucking kidding me? Wait, I could have done something. I'm going to discard Grinning Ignis. Pass. I'm going to. I'm going to draw. I'm going to play Command Tower. I'm gonna tap my Command Tower and my Forest to play Explore. You may play an additional land this turn. Uh, and draw a card. I'm going to play Azorius Chancery. It enters the battlefield tapped. When it enters the battlefield, return a land you control to its owner's hand. I'm just going to return this forest. 
the tabs for blue and white. And then I'm going to pass. Oh, and I draw from that. And then I'm going to pass. Oh, yeah. I'm going to play <coughs> Sunken Ruins. I'm going to tap for a green colorless. And then I'm going to play a uh, Hermit Druid. And pass. Druid. Druid. Draw. We're going to get a, another mountain. That'd be nice right now. A Hermit Druid. Land. <laughs> it's not a mountain. It's a temple of the Dragon Queen. I don't have a dragon, it's but I'm going to choose the color black. So this produces black now. Ah. Let's tap. And then I'm going to tap. Th How would you do it? Seven, answer? seven, and then six. Three. For seven, friendly for seven. For glittering sock pass. Pass. Let's see. Discard Scythe Claw Raptor, your turn. Yeek. All right. On top, on top. Draw. My land for turn is going to be a forest. I'm going to tap a blue, a white, and a green for Derevi. And then I'm going to tap my command tower for a green to play. What are you untapping? Oh, when Derevi comes in, I'll untap this. And then I'll play, I'll tap the command tower to play Elvish Pioneer. When Elvish Pioneer oh, comes gosh. into play, you may put a basic land card into your, uh, from your hand into play tapped. So I will play In response, things. I'm going to tap this for floating mana. Put a stash in room. I'm not doing anything with the mana. I'm going to pass. I'm going to play a Polluted Delta, and then I'm going to activate Hermit Druid. I reveal cards from the top of my library until I reveal a basic land card. Uh, put that card into your hand, and all other cards revealed this way into your graveyard. So I'm going to look for a basic land. I got a swap. Nice. That's Not the result I was expecting. Goes to um, your hand. Goes to my hand. I'm gonna pay life. I'm gonna crack the fluid delta. Go down one. I'm gonna search my library for an island. What's well, either island or swamp? Doesn't have to be basic, right? Well, actually, I want basics. Because I want to be able to dump my, li my library into my graveyard. <laughs> so, uh, we got. I'm just gonna go for that. Now, do you only carry a certain number of basics in your deck? Sure do, buddy. <laughs> For this exact reason. For this exact reason. There it is. Ah, play that. I don't think I have anything else I can do now. Okay. I'm going to start slowly untapping. Drawing. I think it's one. Four. Two. Black. We have a whip of Erebos. Okay. Creatures I control have lifelink. I will actually use one of the manas from the stash counter. Remove. I'm just going to stock more gold. On the glittering stock though. Okay. Do I just get a free three life here? I think I will. Pick a card, any card. Yeah. What? Three damage. Triple. Three commander damage. Menace lifelink. The other thing is right. And I'm getting there. And I pass. Oh, baby, come on. Discarding Colossus Hammer, your turn. Right. The hammer on top. Upkeep, draw. I gained three. I'm at 43. Land for turn is going to be a island. I'm going to tap green. I'm 
the top green command tower for colorless and this white for a colorless to play Rishkar Pima Renegade when he enters the battlefield put a 1-1 one -one counter on each of up to two target creatures each creature you control with a counter on it has tap add green mana so all my creatures that have counters on them get plus one plus one or uh tap the green mana Alright, I'm going to tap three more to play Manolith, and then I'm going to swing, you got any flyers, Joe? I'm wide open right now. I'm swinging Drevi three commander damage at you. I go back to 40. And I'm going to choose, commander damage from. and I'm going to choose to untap the Zorius Chancery, and then I will pass. Oh, I'll play Swamp. And I'm gonna tap for the Hermit Druid. Okay, hopefully this forest isn't right there. It's right there. Oh. <laughs> Third. <laughs> Third card. Those goes to the graveyard. And now I've got no more basic lands in my deck. Oh, Just a... one of each, really? Yep. Well, at least you <laughs> Just know. for that? <laughs> Just for that. Just for what? Essentially to chuck stuff into his graveyard for the mimeoplasm. Yeah. Num 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 num. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, I don't think I have anything else I can do. I was really banking on that. Yeah. 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 Okay. Draw. I'm gonna play a Rogue's Passage. I'm gonna dump the fucking stockpile into more gold. I have nothing in my graveyard. I can't do anything. I pass. Tap up keep. Draw. Shit. <sighs> mountain. We're in. Tap a mountain. Soul ring. No. Tap a soul ring. Ruby medallion. Your turn. Alright. He's online. Fucking finally. Uh -huh. I'm tap. Up keep. Draw. Alright. My life return is going to be a planes. Tap the planes for a soul ring and I will swing you got flying Joe? No. I'm gonna swing two I'm gonna swing three flying at you Joe commander damage so you'll be at six and I'm gonna swing three uh, on the ground at you Sean and then I'm gonna untap both the things that I swing with because they will Why am I at 41? I don't know did you take a life? No. Okay, so you'll be at 37 then. Yeah, I'm at 37 as well. Alright, so I'm going to untap the two things that deal combat damage through Derevi's trigger. Um, and then I'm going to pass. And the answer is, I probably would have ended up with one land if I went down to five. Uh. Wee. You have a grape shot? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm clear for a grape shot. Hey, you lied. You said you had no more basic lands. That is, I'm not lying. That was so the last one. Lands. Oh, that was the last one you put in. So <laughs> when I activate him, my whole grave, my you whole library it. is going to my grave card. Your whole library? Yeah. Your whole library. You essentially... That's what you were trying to do. That's part of the part of the strategies here. I mean, I just sandbagged here for... Two, but it didn't turns. work. Literally it, nothing. it didn't work. Because yeah, no. you draw all no. your lands in, like, ten cards. Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we have... The plan is to dump your whole graveyard, but you didn't get to... It we, didn't work this time. We have what they call a fizzle yeah. here. And, uh... Yeah, so... So you're kind of screwed a little bit. Not at all. We're gonna do this. So I'm gonna play Mana Crypt, and then I'm oh, going to... One, two, three... Four... Five, six. I'm going to cast a Consecrated Six. 
You can no longer lose your win the game. No, every time my opponent draws a card, I draw two cards. That's a good one. <coughs> I'm going to pass. Four six. Four six left. Four six. I'll draw two cards. I'm going to play a mountain. Glittering stockpile. I don't even need him. Four. Five. Six seven. Blade wing deathless tyrant. He's going to be a six six flying haze. Whenever he deals combat damage to a player or planeswalker. For each creature card in your graveyard, which is zero, I create two two black zombie knights. Uh, that's a planeswalker. Plane no, that's a creature. It's a four six creature. Fine. Okay. Well, still, oh, he's flying. He's flying. Four six. Four six. Cupid's a revy. And open mana. Yes. Sean could win this game from fucking God literally nothing. <laughs> he plays a great game. If you say so. Nah. He's got literally nothing. And also... I'm going off of lands that I get off the top. This is true. <coughs> Although he has put it pretty decently. He just needs red. He really needs red. He's hurting for red over there. Mm. Well, Ru Ruby Manali and I would imagine gives you red, right? No. Caution with the coupon. Yeah. Oh, red things cost one less? One generic yeah. less. Well, yeah, yeah. Coupon. Uh, I'll swing you with the 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, I'll take 6. You go to 30. That's fair. And I pass. Yes, yeah, yeah. that 6-6 six, six has you. Yeah, I, get, I get another glitter token. Essentially, so I got like 15 mana. So you <laughs> pass, Joe? And I gained 6. Yeah, Joe passed. Oh, all your creatures have life on it. All my creatures have life on it. Oh, my God. That's a bit of a problem. That was the main reason I said. There's two. Oh. Three. Commander Sphere. There you go. You're fixing yourself. Yeah, slowly. You gotta start somewhere. My red spells are one less. Red. Red. Zozu the Punisher. Oh, oh man. Mm. What is he? Play a land, take a life. Oh, okay. You're Luckily, trying. I have enough right. mana. On tap. For a long time. I'll keep draw. I got gold. Stash counters. Alright. Um, Did you just play a land? No, I didn't play oh, land. you were fiddling with it. No, this this was tapped. I yeah, tapped it. That's what I said. You were fiddling with your Man, that yeah. makes shock lands Um, oh not shock lands, fetch lands. Yeah. yeah. Fetch him to shock. Take three damage. <laughs> I'm gonna play everyone's favorite card. What is this? I'm gonna tap five. Cycling. No. I had a mulligan, my man of arms. One, two, two oh, white, two. three, ah, four. Blood Moon. Five. Five for Sun Scourge Regent. Four, three, flying. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, put a one, one counter on them. Here and you gain go. one life. Blood Moon is red. You can't have it. I'd say, yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Um, <laughs> I was thinking more so you playing Blood Moon. One, two, oh, three, four, five. How is that going to affect me? No, I'm saying I, I don't know if you have a blood moon. Joe, you have, you don't have any flying right now, right? Tapped. All right, I am going to be swinging three flying at you, Joe. We had nine commander, right? And I nine will swing. I'm gonna die by commander damage. And I will swing three on the ground at you, Sean. Yep, so I choose to untap Derevi once he deals combat damage, and I choose to untap him when he deals combat damage. And then I will pass my turn. Powder. Powder two. I'm going to roll for my um, Three. Uh, I'm gonna say uh, heads. Hey, 
That's a land? That's a land. I so you take a life. life. Yep. Black, colorless, one floating. How to cast a nice whisper, draw two. Alright, he casts a spell, I gain a life, and since Scourge Regent gets a 1-1 one, one counter. Hey. Uh, Ripley, can you pass me like a normal dice? So now he's a 5-4. We'll play in a lion's eye diamond. I'm going to use the floating colorless to make two black mana. You just cast one spell? I cast one spell, I'm going to cast another spell. So, yeah. there's two spells this turn. Uh, I'm going to attack this to make the two black. No, I already made the two black. I'm very confused here. So, we got two black there. Right, right. One black and a blue. I'm gonna cast the demonic tutor. Search my library for a thing. So that's another spell. It's another spell. This guy's getting big. The guy's getting somewhere. He's a seven-six flying. I'm gonna grab that. You don't have to reveal. Nope. It's demonic tutor. Oh, you did my own. Okay. Oh, demonic. If you said it, I didn't hear you. Could be worse. Got me, Mick. I'm going to play an Arbor Elf. <laughs> I'm just confused because his name is Joe. I am as well. Um, I'm all out. You're all out? I got, I got a card in my hand. I got mana and two cards. Life is good. I don't want to die next turn. That's my problem. I got a card. Why do you think you're going to die next turn? Because I've got 29 life. We think you're There's a win. tendency to chunk life around oh, these Oh, well, places. that's a lovely thought. <laughs> oh, any of you guys play land? I played. I, I played, played my one land, land, and I took the life. <clears throat> oh, yeah, you're still on your Poseidon turn? I didn't play yeah. land. Okay. I don't... I feel like I really need to use. Then, go ahead. Run tap. Do I get to discard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just discard. Do I keep draw? Hey, you get to draw two cards. Oh, awesome. yeah, I do. Is it you may or you have party. to? I think I what? may. <laughs> Who wanna, let's get the party started. Draw two cards. You may draw two cards. I may. I'm gonna tap six with the glittering stockpile, put five on it. I'm gonna play Descent of Dragons. What does this do? <laughs> destroy any number of target creatures. For each creature destroyed this way, its controller gets a 4 4 red dragon with flying. Right on. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, all your creatures are destroyed and you get four fours inside. Uh, what is it, an enchantment? This is sorcery. If you can respond to my sorcery. If not, all your creatures are becoming four four flying dragons. And they go to the graveyard? Well, they're destroyed. So they go to the graveyard? Yeah. Mm. And then you'd get four fours <coughs> in place of everything destroyed. So I get four four fours flying? Really upsetting the timing here, buddy. I'm sorry. Why? That's all stuff in the graveyard now. Hey, I'm aware of that. I'm aware so of you that. get a 4 4? Uh, Coop, you get how many? I get 4 4 4s, and I'm going to immediately put Drebby back on the field. You have the mana, you have the Drebby. Yeah, and the mana. You, you have two it, yeah. creatures getting blown on the board. Two. You have three creatures here. So I put Drebby uh, back yeah. out. And then, <laughs> you get, how many get, four fours? I get yeah. three. You have, have three creatures to go? Yeah. One more, Mike. So you get three four fours. Mike, one more. Who gets four of them? Four four red flying dragons. And then I will pass. 
Mm. Uh, and uh, that's a card. Okay, draw. See my red right. spells are one less, so I'll tap that. Leave a colorless floating. Finally, Axonil's out. This is where we panic. How much money you got left? Uh, one colorless and one red. Using the one red, I'm going to suspend Rift Bolt. What does that do? It's going to do four damage to somebody when it uh, comes back in. Get your time counter on it. Does my dragon have summoning sickness? No. no. You went through an upkeep. He's red and flying. Joe, four flying. I'm going to block with a 6 6 lifelink. The 46. Does it get the life for that? I do. For blocking? Yeah, yeah daily like combat like, damage. Yeah. Alright, on top of keep draw. <coughs> hey, so what do you have for creatures right now? A 3 3 menace and a 6 6 flying lifelink. Well, I could swing all four of them and deal 12 damage and you gain four, so you still lose eight life. Uh, that's a the opportunity. All of his creatures have lifelink. He has one six six flyer. Uh, he has a three three with mana from lifelink. Yeah, but if I swing full, if I swing all my flyers at him, that's a, that's an option. You if have. I swing all my flyers at him, he'll still take ten damage. I'd gain nine. No, you would gain six, but I would be hitting you for sixteen, eighteen damage. Do it. So you would take twelve damage <laughs> still. After it's all said and done. You didn't do it. I'm gonna tap Azorius Chancery to play Easier Wardwing Familiar. He's a 1 3 flying and spells your opponent's cast that target one or more commanders you control cost three more to cast. So if you guys want to target Derevi, it costs three more. It's got Ward 3. Yeah. Yeah, it gives my commander Ward 3, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to swing. I'm going to swing out at you, Joe. So let me do the math first. 18, and then you gain 6 from blocking. You block the 4-4. Four, four. One of my 4-4s four, dies. I'm taking 12. No, you're taking 18, but then you gain 6, so you're really taking 12. Cool, it's not travel. One of them's getting nulled. You're blocking I'm one taking four 12, five. and then I'm gaining 6. So I'm only taking 6. So I'm going to 4, 4, fours. Yeah, you're blocking, blocking 1 them. and gaining 6 life. And then you're taking 12, 14, so you're really taking 8. Because the Rebbe's swinging too. I'll do every two. Yeah. Okay, so I'll go to 38. That's how much commander? 38 and another three commander. So no, he's just two right now. Okay, so I'll be at 11 commander. This was and eight. all my stuff untaps. All the creatures that swung? All my creatures that swung untaps. Hermit Druid and no basic lands. And I will pass. Wait. Hey, your thing that block doesn't tap, too. That's right. so you know. Flip a coin. Tails. That's it was three. Oh, that's three. Play guys for it. You really just want that. Thing, that thing I had. So we're gonna tap this for three green. I tap this for two black. Two more. I'm gonna play a necrotic through this. Yeah, I don't know what it was on. As all I can do, abilities of all creatures and no graveyards. Mm -hmm. 
all creatures in graveyards? Of all creatures in all what graveyards. What happens? Oof. What are you doing? You get the activated abilities of all creatures in all graveyards. So you have the so activated ability of a Burning there. Agnes. Sick. I'm going to return to my hand and make an extra man. I've got two green floating here. I should just get my dice. <laughs> So I'm going to tap for a black, this two green. I'm going to cast a Victimize. Choose two target creatures in my graveyard. Sacrifice a creature. If you do, return the chosen creatures to the battlefield tapped. Free creatures. Free creatures. I'm going to choose the Consecrated Sphinx. Well, yeah. I'm going to choose the Consecrated, 12, 12, consecrated Sphinx. I get an extra turn. And an Arbor Elf. I'm going to sacrifice one of my handy dandy dragon tokens, thank you very much. Let's see, you're going to go bonkers over there with damage soon. Okay. Him. Life link would be pretty fancy, spiffy. Kill make, my creatures, you know, please. You want your creatures dead? Don't do it. Touch fighting again. Just let him swing at me. And give me some. Let him swing at him. I'll let Joe swing at me. You want Joe swing at me? Uh, you get fog! <laughs> no, swing at me, I'll kill one of your creatures. Uh, I can fog. I'll kill, swing at me, I'll kill one of your creatures. It's not fog. I can't fog wouldn't them. kill your creature. And I don't have anything big yeah. enough to kill your creatures, so. Three, I'm Just cast... swing at me. Just swing at me with your 6-6 six, six, and it'll go to the graveyard, I promise. I'm gonna cast an Eldritch Evolution. Listen, it's me and you who have the most spell. creature. I'm oh, sacrificed the Arbor, Arbor Elf. And then I search my library for a creature with mana cost X or less. For X is two plus sacrifice creatures converted mana cost. Put that card into the battlefield and shuffle library. Exile Eldritch Evolution. It's either three or four. It's going to be a three or less. Ah, figured. What can we do here? Because I need to have some might. I got a, I'm gonna pick an Orcish Bow Master. My hand is unlimited. Uh, when I just battlefield, and whenever an opponent draws a card, except for the first one, they draw each of their draw steps. It's gonna deal one damage to any target, and I'm gonna amass an Orc. So who's taking the damage? Where when, can I put one damage that's gonna it's matter? It's when you draw a card, you said, when we draw a card. And when it enters the battlefield. Oh, okay, yeah. Where is one damage gonna matter? I don't know. Is there anything that has one toughness? Nope. I should get up off my butt and look. Not on my board. I've got a 1 3, a 2 3, and 3 4 fours. Okay. Um. Is that any target you said? Yeah, any target. Coop, take one. You've been getting life a lot. Not that I want to make enemies, but you're at least impactful. That's fine. Thanks, I'll bud. Take, I'll take the one. I'll so take gonna, the one like a chance. I'm going to also amass a orc token. <laughs> and I'm not into attack and bro's hollow. After that, I'm going to pass my turn. Well, you don't have the orc army token? I do somewhere. I just need to think about where. I have a squirrel. Hey, okay. This is an orc. It's the orc army. It looks like him. Rogue's Passage. Everybody should remember the drink. I need to use that one, yeah. Rose passes to you, Indian. Uh, six damage. Can't be blocked. It's me. Rogue's passage. That was just making sure I understood what you were saying. Oh, <laughs> yeah. crap. You drew, you drew a card. I don't draw any cards. Yeah. I'm going to 44. Yeah, here. You're going to 20. My pass. Hmm, 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 hmm. That's it. He, he can pass? Or? Okay. Yeah. I, I wasn't sure if you were doing no, that no, no, to no. interrupt. Rogue's passage. <laughs> On time. Okay, this snaps back in. Uh, it would be three axonals out, so it's four. Four damage to what? Uh, creature or player, Joe, four damage to you. I'm back at 40 again. Draw. One. Simeon Sling. Two. Equip the Simeon Sling. Axonel now has plus one plus one. Whenever he becomes blocked, he deals one damage to defending player. It's a red source, so we'll deal five. Whee! 
My red spells are one generic less. So red, red, or and one colorless for Gutter Knight. Certainly not a combo piece. Fucking Who has buffer blockers? Three, three. three. We've already got plenty of dragons. Three, Slicing. four, four is a one, three, a two, three. We got blockers. And if you're going to cast a spell to target Drevi, it costs three more. I got two dragons. What's your biggest? Three, three, lifelink. A sphinx. Who's Joe. Five, five, commander. I'm going to take it. 35. That's commander. Yep. Sling. Yeah, my pump's blocked. Your turn. Alright, I'm to have a keep draw. Lamp return is gonna be an island. Joe, do you have any flyers? Um, tapped out. No, no flyers. Uh, Sean, do you have any players? No. Alright, I'm going to swing two, four, two, four, no, two, six, ten at Joe, and then I'm going to swing, yeah, I'm swinging ten at Joe in the air, and I'm going to swing five at you, Sean. Uh, the five for me is non commander? No, no 25. And then I'm going to untap everything because they all deal combat damage. Taking damage. damage. Huh? Taking damage. From what? I said I'm taking damage. Yeah, yeah. You took damage. All right. And then I'll pass. Destroy each non land permanent with converted mana costs two or less, and then I'm going to add a black or a green for each permanent destroyed this way. Really? So we got one, so two, three, four, soaring. five, six. Signet. Six things on my side. One, two, on me. two, three, four, five, six on me. I got six. You got six. Wait, you four. said two or less? Two or less. Two or less. Mm, he's four. Those tokens are zero. They're all dead, right? Yep. Yep. But those still count. Gutter snipe is three. How many do you got? Commander snipe. Just uh, two. That's that three. Signet and two. Two. Eight. One, two, three for me. Never mind. It's only three for you. Yeah, if it's supposed to be your stuff, dragon's two or dead, less. Coop. Coop. Anything two or less is dead. Two mana or less. Soul ring, dragons. It's all gone. So, three. Soaring, mana list stays because it's three. All my dragons because they don't cost anything, right? And easier is two, so he gets paid two. <laughs> you did that? How many did you got? Give me a number. You did that? Three. Three? <laughs> four? Three, four creatures. Five? Four, five. <laughs> five total, yeah. Five? So, 16. I got 16 now. I'm going to split it even 8 and 8. You did that? I did that. Why doesn't his shit die? Oh, because his shit's all beefy, fucking expensive shit. Yeah, over 3. Um, got rid of that thing that was killing me, though. Here we go. So, wild ride. I should have activated that before. I'm done. That's alright. I'm going to tap for green. I'm going to tap my Necrotic Ooze because my Hermit Druid is in my graveyard. And so I'm going to rip my library into my graveyard. The entire thing. Right oh, you're looking for now. a basic land? You have no basic lands. I have no basic lands. Okay. My graveyard. Do you lose not. the game? Only I don't. If somebody's going to make me draw, that's going to be awkward. 
Sign in blood. <laughs> so you would make me draw at this very moment? I have it in my day. It would. Hmm? It would make you draw. Sign in blood. Yeah. Draw, target sure player draws two cards. Um, okay, so I'm going to cast, with my 16 mana, I'm going to go down to 11. I'm going to cast a Living Death. This is fun. Each player exiles all creature cards from his or her graveyard, then sacrifices all <laughs> creatures he or she controls. Uh, then put all cards he or she exiled this way onto the battlefield. We're going to do a shift. So your your battlefield goes into your graveyard, your graveyard goes into your battlefield. Okay, Creature well I just have direct Creatures, right. Commanders go to the command zone? Yes. These are my graveyard. and All, all my, my creatures. creatures go to my... E yeah, so you have any graveyard? creatures in your graveyard? Yeah. That's going to the battlefield. Rich car, Elvish Pioneer, and Sunscorch Regent. Oh. And at an instant speed, I'm going to put Drevi back in. At an instant speed? Yep. Because I can do that with his uh, thing. I get my Grinning Ignis, my Scythe Claw Raptor, Zozu, the Punisher, and the Simeon Sling, because he's an artifact creature. I get literally every card in my deck. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so could I just show two cards and call it a day? Yeah, show the infinite what's, combo. What's the combo? Oh, combo. The combo. We got combo wombos here. Oh, uh, hey, that land looks good. There's familiar. multiple combos? <laughs> we got combo wombos. I mean, show the people. How do you want to kill us? I want to go kill you right in the face. Uh, the easiest way of going about this is Micaeus and, um... Micaeus? Micaeus. Micaeus what? Micaeus, Viscerous Seer, and oh, the I Walking have. Ballista. That's the easiest way to I was about to say Walking this. Ballista. I unfortunately do not have a way of giving everything haste right now, so I wish I could do a big splashy swing out and For the time being, you can't, and we could kill you. You could potentially kill me. However, I have an Endurance, which is going to put anything that's not a creature that's in my graveyard. Well, actually, no, we couldn't kill you because you have all your stuff. It's all on the field. Yeah, it's all on the field. Everybody, and anything that's not on the field is going to be in my deck because of an endurance. Can anybody cast an instant not on their turn? You take four. Because of the raptor. And if you play a land, you take one. No, you okay. take two. And I think it's in my hands. It is. What a man. A Vispers here. So what happens is... Mechanics is going to give non-creatures plus one plus one, and I'm dying. Viscerous here allows me to sacrifice creatures, try one. So I'm going to sacrifice my Walking Blissa, it's going to come back with undying. It gets a plus one plus one counter on it, and it's a one one, so I'm going to use a plus one plus one counter, throw damage at a person, and then sacrifice it with Viscerous here. Since it doesn't have a plus one counter on it, it's going to come back with undying, and I'm going to repeat this process. You're going to loop it until we're dead. Yes. That is the easiest way of explaining this big hog wash pile of creatures that is on the battlefield.